got a plus A to insight. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's my best guess. Unless we've done something else, or if, if she had some sort of dealings that I don't know about. Mm. Which is some attack, certainly possible. Like, he's got a lot of dealings, but something about it just doesn't feel like it would be some, I don't think she's ever had probably ever had dealings with the devil. It, she seems too smart not to do that. I'd hope so. She wasn't smart enough to be a wizard, though. Hey, yes. Hey, come on. Well, we should probably get some sleep. Yeah, I'm just gonna check on Cryley, make sure she's uh doing okay. Then uh, I'm gonna hit some, get some shot eye. All right, and uh, opening the door, to looking at Cryley's room. She's She's doing okay. She's kind of just looking over the egg currently right now. Um, you know, you know, if you hug it so much, it's going to turn into a mama's. Uh, it's going to turn into a mama's boy. I'm not sure I would object to that. <laughs> <laughs> if you hug it too much, it'll turn into an omelet. I'm not sure that's possible. <laughs> I don't think I could squeeze that much. <laughs> it is. A, she, it is. She, you see, there should be squeezing it pretty tight right now already. <laughs> Uh, careful, careful not to, careful not to uh, boil it too much. Yeah. Uh, this I've I've never seen anything like that before. Those devils, demons, fiends. Hmm. Bones. Some, some, uh, some kind of otherworldly, other plane, uh, monsters. Uh, Lily, we also might want to think about maybe getting some uh, interior defenses set up. Think you can tinker something to make it, you know? Uh, nothing that will de define it from good or bad. Uh. It, if you want, if you want something that's gonna make make it so we can freely step around the area, but anything else, uh, it's gonna need a ma mage. Could need some kind of magic at least. Yeah. Mm. Best I can do is maybe set up some explosives. Actually, no, no explosives on the ship. Um. We'd rather the ship keep flying. Yeah, I, c I like I can set up trip wires to for spikes and stuff, but like then you... everyone's gonna tiptoe around the ship. Yeah, pretty much. See, uh, hmm. Yeah, and if we run into rough skies, like the ship being rammed into something, so some kind of magic arcane arcane traps would probably be the better option. Pretty sure you can make it so you can determine who triggers them and who doesn't. Though it's gonna be expensive. I'll we'll figure that out, I'm sure. Uh, I don't really know much with traps and everything. No, I think you know how to hug things. Hmm. Uh, i to get some sleep myself. We're probably well, close to that one point you wanted to check over the water, weren't we? Uh, probably. Uh, probably soon. I'm going to just get some shot eye before it, um, we reach it. Yeah. Alright, so I'm... Good night. Yeah, you're all pretty able to at least get a short rest before you would get to that point. Um, uh, Veth will kind of stop the ship over there, kind of not, not stop so much, but circle around in like a pretty wide arc, and she'll kind of slowly get everyone's attention, like not call through things, so she'll send Boar down to address everyone individually, telling them that they're over the area. And She doesn't personally see anything, but if they want to come out here and try to take a closer look, they might know what they're looking for. Um, okay, so if, if they're saying they haven't seen anything, Lily's just gonna stay in her room and get the rest of her sleep. Same with Sayara. Shiki? Well, Shiki's perceptive, perceptive so... Yeah. Yeah, so, so you can uh, roll perception check, if you like. Give it a go. Yeah, and 20. as Veth said, like, the only thing, as far as you can see, is there's open seas in every direction. There doesn't really seem to be anything at this spot. Well, looks like it's underwater then. Might Should I far. just keep going? Should we just keep going onward then? Hmm. Yeah. I don't want to waste. Don't want to waste everyone's time just on a hunch. Right. I'm gonna go back to beds of F. Carry on. Okay. Thank you for the good work. And Beth will continue onwards from where she is currently with the airship. And it's going to take probably another day to even get to whatever the next destination is. You guys wanted mm -hmm. to go to Star Point first? Yes. All right. Was it Star Point or Star? I don't know which one was it. 
Jeeps? It's Star Point is the upper one, the larger okay. town. Okay. I see this maps you wanted to make Risu, but <laughs> you just made them yourself. All right, so distances traveled. It's going to take closer to probably two days. Let's see. I think it's going to take more than 30 hours. So let's see. How, how long is it going to Yeah, just let me know. It's going to, how long is oh, going to take yeah, over? It's going to take a day and a half. In that case, you know, I've got about another day. Uh, Jeeves, we got some. Uh, we got some of that fire crystal left, haven't we? Yeah, we have that yeah, large, large one left. Yeah, we never used any of the large one. Yeah, you have the right. large one, and that's it. I'm gonna try and infuse my uh, revolver with flame when we fire. Okay. Do you need any help from Lily, or is that not something she can help with? Because she has Ooh. worked with fire before. She's worked with. Yeah, she's worked with it in a sense. It'd be up to. Um, I'm gonna say that she'll be able to help out. Okay. okay. Right, and here we go. Tinkering check. Don't fail me now. Good thing I've got the sleep roll again if I need it. I'm gonna keep that. <laughs> you sure? I'm pretty sure. Okay. All right. So working on it, you take this. Um, uh, revolver's just a revolver, right? It's a revolver. You're planning to put on. The effect on the various chambers, is that what it was? Uh, yeah, it'd be like, so... Yeah, so it'd be like six chambers, chambers, one chamber is fire, one chamber is ice, one chamber is lightning, something like that? Uh, pretty much like that. It depends, All how right. many chambers could... It's a, it's a lot, it's, was it, Jeeves, a large one? A large crystal, yeah. It's a large largest. crystal. It's the largest crystal. It depends, how, right. many chambers, how many chambers would... I I'm going to say, with the large crystal, and you're going to end up using up... Uh, probably a good amount of supplies otherwise. Uh, was it going to be doing bonus damage or just fire damage? It would be bonus fire damage. Yeah, it would, it would be the way it worked. So I'm going to say it's probably going to cost you as in like magical supplies and I kind of want to just bullshit it and say that because of how the magical, the worldwide magical that works, you can basically just shove gold out, and that takes place <laughs> of the magical dust you need. But yeah, well, um, pixie dust, problem. pixie dust. <laughs> so I'm gonna. It's gonna cost you a good amount of gold and supplies. Probably, I don't know, a good cost. I'll say because you have a good crystal to work off of, you'll be able to do this with maybe 600 gold worth of supplies in addition to the crystal. And but that you'll be able be to make it so that two of the chambers would do an extra. D four, D four fire damage. Okay, I will put that on chamber one, and I will put that on chamber three. Yeah, I'll do it like that. Right. I got to remember, remember the chambers. And you're That's the one it. keeping track of all of this shit because I will not even try. I've got <laughs> it. So I will not even try to keep track. You, How long? Jeebus? Go ahead. You have a six hundred out of the coffers. Okay, hmm. you can go ahead and edit that if you want. And that's um, gonna take. That's gonna be Lily and Shiki working on that all the next two days to take care okay. of that. Okay. All right. Cool. No, Lily, Lily, no, don't just jam it in there. Funk, funk. Well, why not? <laughs> You're gonna break the gun. <laughs> and at the moment, um, at the moment that Shiki says "gun," you hear a loud collective "aww" from outside the door. <laughs> okay. Guess and we and. Oh, and uh, as they say that, there is a sh there is a pistol shot that hits above the door frame. All of the safeties <laughs> of all of the guns in this room suddenly <laughs> just come off. I, got, I, I think I've got a few. I think I've got, I think I've got a few spare safeties from the muskets they disassembled. <laughs> safeties just oh, fall on the floor. Like they, <laughs> you think the Corkin would have made a safety on their gun? <laughs> There is uh, no I, safety on that the, thing. The, th the thing is, though, I doubt they made the gun, so this probably yeah, is... Th but realistically, though, speaking, the safety is the pressure charge. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Alright, then. Um, just so we could plan for the future, what kind of supplies will we need for the jet hammer? For the jet hammer, you would want to have some way to make the propulsion. Obviously, having simple gunpowder is not going to last long duration. We, we so need a, you wanted to reload. We need a fire, 
We need a fire crystal to FIFA. So you need some sort of fire elemental way to make it an explosive force to propel forward. Would wind or earth be able to... Earth, maybe not. Wind, maybe? Wind would probably work. You could probably get something out of water as well if you wanted to work with it. It's fire or wind would be the best. Water mm -hmm. is workable. Well, you, using the knowledge I got from the uh, croc weapons, I could possibly make something with steam. Or pressure, like some kind yeah, of pressure. At the same time, device. you'd need an actual fire for that part. So, like water oh, yeah. by itself is workable. All of them by themselves are workable, aside from earth. Fire or air would be the best ideas by themselves. Yep. Okay. So, um, other than that, I think you would just basically need various metals and other things like that for control. So, I'm just going to say miscellaneous metals because you're not making it out of animantium or mithril or something like that. Though I might Solid. at some point require a control system to be made out of animantium or mithril. And animantium is extremely expensive. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, just gotta, gotta quickly ask what was the bonus fire damage on the gun? The chambers? I said, a 2D4, I said a D4 for each of the chambers. Okay, D4, got it. Yeah, D4 for each chamber that got it. Okay, I can just, I'm gonna just put that in my class stuff now. Carry on. Um, the rest of the trip more or less seems to pass relatively calmly. You do head over a what looks like a storm from below. You can't like see the ground for any duration. You can see the thunder. You can hear thunder crack. You can see the lightning down below you, and it's kind of serene to be above a thunderstorm. Lily is gonna watch well, as much time as she has. Storm. <laughs> we're over that thunderstorm. Is it roughly where the sigil was going to be? No. No, at this point you're probably over the Starfall Bay. Alright. Yeah, by the time you're over the thunderstorm, it's somewhere over Starfall Bay. So we spotted nothing going over where the sigil would be? Water was completely clear down there. Does where it look essentially clear, uh, natural? The storm appears to be natural, the best you can see. It's not a massive storm either. Um, I say it's low, but now I'm thinking about it. Thunderstorms are really freaking tall. So you're probably going to be dancing around, like Beth will kind of be dancing the ship around the various tall columns of the thunderstorm. <laughs> if it's an anvil head, it's... Yeah. But... I've not had, like, earth science in so I fucking long. Is it there, a cumulonimbus or just an imbus? It's a cumulonimbus and it's very, very tall. Yeah. Yeah, let's well, go with that. I don't remember names. <laughs> I have not had that type of math or that type of science in so long. It is very, very tall. It's a vertical one. It's a vertical one. It's relatively tall, and it's around. It's not quite centered on the bay. It seems to be heading south. Nothing really too fancy about it, the best you can tell. Um, it's like You probably get the feeling it's not the worst thing ever. You would know from looking at the map that down there it's a pretty arid area. Okay, so it's not a hurricane. <laughs> oh no, it's it's not a hurricane. That'd be a kind of amazing to fly over, I'm sorry. You wouldn't want to fly over that. <laughs> Hurricanes you don't want to really want to fly anywhere near. <laughs> uh admittedly like there's some rough skies in the area, but Veth has actually been getting rather good at handling the ship and she's able to make it a not the smoothest ride, but it could be a lot worse. <laughs> Um, and you'll eventually get head, you're heading towards start point so you'll eventually get off to there come up close and Veth will kind of gather the party up to address them and she'll kind of ask where do you think we should uh, try to sit down or what have you um depends you know of any uh, good locations or I've never actually been to start point myself let's aim for oh. half a day outside of town away from any farms that way we don't raise any questions um, you forget we've got a big flying ship. I think they're going to see us. I could bring us in low around, about, around alongside the uh, cliffs, what have you, see if we can't find a little alcove to set down in. Yeah, um, better hide the ship, that way it doesn't draw attention. Yeah, I guess we could do that for now. Hey, Veth, when we land, can you do some research and try to find some way that we can... I don't know, either paint or display a banner that describes that we're they're peaceful, not trying to hurt anybody, so no one's going to come with us as pitchforks and fire. Well, we've already done that often enough, and aside from the guard coming out to meet us, it hasn't been that bad. 
Yeah, but it's, it's just I'd like to make it so that the townspeople are a little better at ease. They're not going to be at ease anyway because this looks like a warship. In all in all fairness, I think they should I think they should be on high alert from the possible guard murderer. All right, Shiki, you're going overboard. <laughs> <laughs> and Beth will kind of nod. All right then, and she'll just take the ship down rather low. You're kind of she's seeming it across the surface for the time being. Um, looking around for a little bit, you do see that inside one of the cliffs, there looks to be it's. If you were in the north, it'd probably be a fjord, but you're not. Regardless, she tends to, she turns the ship towards that way, kind of tries to back it in there, setting it down as gently as she can. Um, along the sides, you can see that there's a little path along the cliffs, which could likely get you out without too much trouble. Okay. Slowly. Slowly. Do we hear a beeping noise as we back up? No, you don't. No, I... Why would I install that? That's dumb. <laughs> and you'll eventually, when you're walking around, head off to... You don't need this anymore. Why is this still up? Don't Not need it. Good. Yeah, you'll eventually find your way towards where Starpoint is, and let me move you to the map I have for that. Oh, Star hey, Point you're prepared. Is... <laughs> I say prepared, but I'm not <laughs> that prepared. If you went to any other city, I would not have had a map ready. The city itself is, actually, it's not a huge city. And as you come around one of the cliffs and get a decent look at it from higher up, it is very obviously a port. Like, there is almost more pier and dark dockway than there is road. Are there some nice uh, beaches around here? I think, uh, I think um, we should just sit out here and get a tan for a while. It's mostly cliffs and everything. There are a few small beaches, but nothing that terribly impressive. Yeah. I guess we got work to do. Why would you even think about taking a break? Alright, so as for <laughs> actual bits of the town itself, this down here would mostly be like, I'm going to say is a lot of residential, small residential areas over here. Uh -huh. um, over here you probably have a few more shops, bigger places, a bit more fancier things. Like if this was low class down here, this would be more like a middle class, upper class area. It has a lot of the shops. Actually, the shops are more on this island here. A lot of the various other things in there. There is this large building and this building over here, which is a lighthouse up here. But this building down here is probably some sort of guild hall. Uh, maybe it's the like town hall, something of that effect. You have a few large buildings overall. This one over here appears to be the largest inn in the town. Number of warehouses otherwise. It seems that it's a lot more traveling coming in and out more than anything. Does it look like a tourist stop or is it all business? It looks like it could be a bit of a tour stop, um, like the various tavern here. It's a very big tavern. It's like a huge tavern, almost three stories high. Ow. And then like the town hall over here and everything else. And it does have you, <laughs> the woods going down south, or the woods down south, which the end wood. You know mm. that's a pretty, like it's, it's a pretty small forest all around, but it's a somewhat exotic place. You have the uh, river up front, uh, <coughs> up further up, and stopping to ask somebody about that as you go by, you'll learn that that is a kind of like a tourist attraction up there. It's uh, yeah, it's a lot more tourist attraction up there, and it's had harder times more recently. And I say more recently, I mean since the Civil War that caused the blight to form, because nobody really wants to be near it at all, even if they are literally across a good strait. Alright. Well, um, I'm going to intervene. I'm going to go ahead and explore a little bit of a forest on my own here, see if I can't find anything that could be of use. If you see anything that's guarded, can you come back before you try to get yourself killed? I'm after plants. The odds of a if you see any plants that are guarded. <laughs> yes. Any any plants guarded by treants. <laughs> or any treants guarded by plants. Yes, that too. <laughs> well, uh, why is if you find plants guarded, 
treants that are guarding more plants that are guarding more yeah, treants. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or a grove guardian or two. Ooh. I think I think Shiki should roll a one. should roll a tinker check for her sandcastle. I think she should. Yeah. I'm like like it's fox. not the biggest beach really at all, <gasps> but there is something of a beach. Uh, I'm, make, I'm making a foxhole. <laughs> it's a pretty nice foxhole. You're not welcome here in Fort Kickass. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, Lily's gonna peruse the shops. You know, just just looking around, see what they've got. To the fair. Uh, a number of pretty common magical items. Nothing too particularly fancy or out of the way. It's a lot of utility stuff. Um, it doesn't seem like there's like a full-on armor smith here. Armor or weapon smith. If you ask about it, you'll learn that the the last smith, like um, who was like a weapons or armor smith that was here, left probably five years ago. Five years after the war. Since they didn't really need somebody who could uh, keep up with the production, with this being the the Tourist. waypoint outpost for coming up towards where the blight became. Well, you know, we've got a few items that we could sell if they're if they're looking for. Uh, we've got a mace here. We've got a lance. We got some good stuff. Uh, are they are they looking like they might be willing to pay more than average for some of those items? Because if if they don't have an armor smith or a weapon smith, it might be uh, low on items. They don't look like they're too interested. Like they have the biggest need for uh, weapons out here. Oh no, spear should be used for fishing. Well, it's a lance, not a spear. If it was a uh, trident, then they'd probably be more interested in it. Mm -hmm. But they don't like they, they don't have the particular like smith here to make all this magical gear, or what have you. But at the same time, they don't really seem to need it that much, so they don't really look like they're going to be paying a good penny for it. Oh, okay. Um, let's see, we don't really have... Yeah, we have the dragon scales. Um, do they... Uh, is there, like, a trades area that uh, she can go and see if there's supplies that she can buy for the jet hammer? Uh, yeah, I was going to say this area right here was going to be probably mostly the trade area. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> They're all doing important stuff. Can, I'm, can, just, I'm just enjoying myself. Can <laughs> Lily also look for a really awesome looking swimsuit? She may. <laughs> and uh, Reese, do want me a survival? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's kind of kind of going to be more enjoyable for Ione. <laughs> yeah, so Ione, you'll be able to find a, a few mushrooms. Um, mushrooms and a nice fern. You're not really sure what any of them do yet, so just mark off two two star mushrooms, one star fern. Two mushrooms, two, one star fern? Yeah, just mark that off for now. We'll figure out what to do later. To be fair, Shiki looks like she, come, she comes to this place often. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and for that reason, actually, it's not that terribly long before a uh, before a uh, human will walk up to Shiki, and this guy he looks relatively well off, everything like that. He's like he's dressed relatively nicely. He's kind of got this cocky, arrogant expression to him, and it's like a a smile as well. He doesn't see in. He'll just kind of walk up. Uh, Shiki sunbathing right now. She's working um, on the uh, uh, foxhole. Uh, the foxhole is literally a wall around her right now. <laughs> and he'll kind of just walk up and he'll look at the up. wall and he'll kind of tap it with this little rod he's been carrying. I say it's a little rod. It's probably about the length of a walking cane. He's kind of using it as such, but you can he's doing it more just for the looks. He obviously doesn't need, like he's not limping or anything. He Wait. just kind of taps it on the side. Wait. Yeah. The whole thing collapses. <laughs> yeah, just kind of tap it on the side. You know, it's sturdy. It's from Chicky Mates. <laughs> you know it's good. <laughs> you know, normally when you come to the beach, you don't build a wall to hide yourself from everything else. I'm gonna roll insight. <laughs> Your insight roll, insight roll says that he is a sleaze bag. <laughs> Your insight roll tells you pretty much what you've I've already explained that he looks to be he seems rather arrogant, but he doesn't seem to have any ill intent right now. He seems just more curious than anything. 
Uh, well, maybe I liked making balls. Um, what's with the cane? You don't exactly kind of need it. <laughs> you know, kind of just lean up and he'll tap himself on the shoulder. Eh, this is just a nice little trinket I found. It's been a nice thing I've had. And he just kind of twirls it around, having fun. Uh, Arcana check on the trinket. For Arcana. 18. You can tell that it is, in, it seems that it's not magical in the least. Hmm. Like it, well, it has a few appearances, like like the uh, mark, the craftsmanship of it is easily that of a quality of a magical item. But looking at it in your own magically imbued nature, being Kitsune, you don't think there's anything actually magic about it, which is confusing. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. At the at, at the point, uh, it's just at this point, like she's just like she's using her fingers like to make a like a hole in the wall, just like keeping it together. So, uh, what brings you here? <laughs> oh, just trying to relax, giving my friends a chance to unwind before we go out for uh, another bit of wandering about. Oh. Uh, this way, they can actually sleep in a proper bed and not in that little dinghy we have. Huh. Fair enough. Oh, if surely it's fair. I mean, I can't expect them to sleep in a... Uh, oh, it's, it's a bit bigger than a robo. I can't expect them to sleep in that, like, every night. No, 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 no. You can't, can't really... I always sleep... I get to sleep in a nice cozy bed all, every single night. Oh, you should consider Most yourself lucky. I should make sure you never tell my friends that. They would both slaughter me if they knew. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Safety comes off. <laughs> like she, she's making a hole in the wall. Just to let you know. <laughs> I haven't said what the hole's for. <laughs> Funk. So, what are you exactly? You look as though you're one of these fox breeds that have been about, but I've never seen one with multiple tails before. Uh, I'll let you, I'll let you know when I get back. To, I figured that one out myself. Ah, so you don't know yourself? Ah, no, no. Hmm. Uh, so I won't be able to learn a mystery from you then. No, Shame. sadly not. <laughs> I'll, more, I'm more of a mystery to myself. Well, if you're a mystery to yourself, well, hmm. And he just kind of looks at Shinky for a moment, thinking, uh, "Are you here with company or by yourself?" Yeah, it, uh, is Azul around? I'm gonna say Azul is currently underwater looking for sh crabs. <laughs> uh, like, is she like in uh, in uh, eye view? Probably not, considering she's underwater. Well, uh, I hate to break it to you, uh, my friend. I'm uh, currently here with the missus. Mm. <laughs> ah, I was not aware. Yeah, <sighs> sorry. Sorry about that. He doesn't seem that crestfallen over that. Eh, well, I suppose I shouldn't be that upset. Mm-hmm. Anyway. I was going to offer you a, a drink tonight at the tavern, but if not, well, good day. See you later. And he kind of just walks off again. Don't, know what that was, don't even know what that was about. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> and you're watching him go go away, I assume? Yep. Maybe, sh maybe I should make a gun that shoots water. Nah, as, he, as he's walking away, he kind of goes by. You see that there's um, it's a boat, wooden. Seems, seems to be bigger than a rowboat, and you didn't really notice it before because you assumed it was just something left over for the many ships that go by. But looking at it now, you see it doesn't look quite like a normal rowboat. It's a bit too bulky for that. And he just kind of slaps aside real quick, speaks to someone inside. A woman pokes her head out. What color is her hair? Pink. No, it's not pink. I know for a fact it's not pink. I think it's blonde. Blonde or tan? It's blondish. It's a blondish tan. Let's go with Sandy Brown. Let's go with Sand. <sighs> and she just kind of pokes her head out for a moment. She seems to have been sleeping out in, like, not sunbathing per se, but just sleeping out here on the ship. This little, little rowboat thing. And he speaks to her for a little bit before walking off himself. Huh. Odd fellow. I'm sure that will be important sometime. If if that's his if that's his boat, heh, <laughs> mine's better. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Win. 
You don't think she can do a shooting arcade? <laughs> Play laser tag with her. Again, uh, again, she needs to make water. She needs to make a water pistol. Uh, I feel like Shiki would be the most aggressive laser tag player ever. She would be. <laughs> It'd be the best. <laughs> There's no safety to put back on. It's always off. Okay, 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 guys. We're gonna split you all up evenly into the teams. This team gets Shiki. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> The, no, the no, teammates Shiki. cower from Shiki. <laughs> uh, it's like taking John Rambo to laser tag. <laughs> Alright. Azul eventually comes back up on shore. She has a extremely large fish hanging over her back, and she doesn't look like she has look like she has any clue what the hell she should do with it. Um